Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to some Rust. As you can tell, yeah, I'm a few hours late to wipe. I actually tried playing a 1000 pop server on wipe day. Wow, what is that like? Yeah, I kind of got destroyed. I built right next to launch site and power plant and I just died over and over again. But if you want to see me do a 1000 pop video, leave a like because I don't even know if it's something people enjoy watching. I haven't got a clue. I was a couple of hours late to wipe, as previously mentioned, meaning a lot of the build spots would have been taken. I would need to find somewhere sneaky, somewhere secure, so I began travelling north in hopes of finding this dream build spot to begin this chaotic adventure. Hundred and seventy one scrap. Cheers, dude. <laughs> Why are you one HP with so much cloth? Okay, I'll take it. We move on. I wonder if this ice lake is taken. I mean I think this is a very, very stupid phrase. Of course it's gonna be taken. If it isn't. Yeah. Uh, it's a shame. Okay. Oh, uh, am I cheating? Oh, God. I just want to say thank you all so much for the recent love on the videos. I greatly appreciate it. Like I said, if you want to see me take on a thousand pop server on wipe day, let me know by dropping a comment. We are also super close to 70,000 subscribers. So if you like weekly Rust content, I upload every Sunday and I would love to see you here every week. Without further ado, I hope you enjoy this Rust story. Can I actually build in here? Oh, I'm building in here. I'm building in here, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. Oh, this is going to be sick. With gunshots all around, I knew this area was about to be hectic, so I made sure to secure my build spot as fast as possible. There we go. Okay. Oh, this is going to be so cool to live in. Look at this rock formation. Oh, yeah. I need a tool cupboard, though. Badly. I actually might have just stumbled across one of the coolest build locations I've found in a while. This is sick. So I wouldn't have been able to place a garage door, and obviously... I would like a garage door here. Also gives us some extra storage up top. Cool. Nice, nice, nice. And we're in a nice spot. I like this. We have a group on the ice lake. Not too far. Can mess with them. Supermarket train yard. Potential for lock crate. I think this is a good spot. I'm looking forward to it. There we go. Oh, I hate the bear mechanics in this game. <laughs> okay, if I was to take an educated guess, I would assume he didn't loot my clothing. But then again, this is rust and... yeah. <laughs> nah, I can see my bow. That should be fine. Oh, he took my armor. Luckily, there's another one. Oh, another one? What is going on? Get out of here. I just want your friend. Okay, well, I'm sure you can argue that this has been a pretty incredible start. So far. <laughs> When the sun rises, we need stone. I want to expand my base already, and I'm thinking I might be able to get a bunker out the front. Ooh, we could make a furnace. Let me get 100 HP, actually. 
Ah, oh, we need stone. Yeah. Okay, that'll be uh, that'll be morning's mission. Get a little bit of farm. The rust morning is upon us. We have some grinding to do. Why is polar bears everywhere this white? One reason why I love doing these sort of bases so much is the fact that they're freestyle bases. Like, you you don't find tutorials on this sort of stuff. And in my head, I kind of want to have an entrance here. That'd be really cool. I had enough scrap for a tier 1 workbench. However, I would have to wait for this upgrade as I didn't have any metal fragments. So whilst I waited for them to smelt, I headed towards the local supermarket. I saw someone on a horse. Jackhammer, jackhammer, jackhammer. Oh, I'm telling you, it's going to work. It's going to work sometime, okay? Bang. I think if I place it here, I might get stuck. Oh no, that's, that's fine, actually. Make ourselves a crossbow. Oh no, I'm seeing a guy at Oxum's actually. Or supermarket. Two guys on the zip line as well. Uh, I wonder if they're all together. Oh, fair enough. He has a saw. This was my first encounter with a group that would be seen a lot in this story, but for now we didn't have to worry about them. What I needed was a tier 2 workbench, so after doing a small component run, I crafted myself a revolver to hopefully help with this process. Let's craft up a revy. Heading into train yard to gather scrap, I found myself in a bit of a pickle, but one that would eventually benefit us. This is interesting because I assume that this is the group, right? Oh, that's their base. I see. Yeah, that is them. Oh, no way. There's a lot of great drop here as well. That's insane. This is going to get very interesting. All of these groups are going to come. Yeah, um, okay. Yeah, there we go. It just dropped. Where's the Tommy? I ain't getting out of here alive. If I had the Tommy, maybe. Yep, the saw guy's up there. You can see him just through the crack, maybe. There he is. Oh, this isn't good. Surrounded by groups, I had no real option but to attempt to stash my guns in a secret location. But not being able to escape the crane, I had to improvise. Why didn't he have one med? I need to try and leave. I have no heals, but there's a P2 guy below me. Ladies and gentlemen, I don't think I'm getting out of here alive, to put it to put it simply. <laughs> this isn't good. What if I That might not be seen. That might not be seen. Eventually being forced out by another team, I would later need to head back once the crate had gone to see if my stash guns were still there. So whilst I waited, I continued to gather resources whilst the groups were fighting it out.
This group is huge. And they see me because I'm not rendered in, which is really annoying. Yeah, that's really annoying. The thing hadn't rendered, so they saw me. That group is a large. Yeah, I just think we'll leave the groups to battle it out for now. Uh, <laughs> I've got some bigger things to be attending to. I actually need to upgrade my base a little bit. Get some wood, make a crossbow, get some more animals. The PvP can wait. As much as I really want to get involved, I don't think I could do much there. <laughs> okay, like I said, let's see if we can bunker this. I'm pretty sure we probably can't. Oh, oh, we can. Oh, but I'm stupid. I have a wall frame there. I, oh, wait. Um, oh, hang on. Lock crate is gone. I quickly just need to check if my guns have survived. <laughs> Give me a second. Yes. Getting the guns back in the base was a huge come up for a solo like me, being able to fall back onto them if needed. Once the sun had risen, I decided to begin the first of many expansions to my hidden rock bunker. But unbeknownst to me, this base would already be catching the attention of a familiar face. I am actually in love with this build spot. It's like quiet at the same time. I mean, well, train yard has a lot great, obviously. I've got supermarket for some quick and easy scrap. And I've got a few clans just over this hill, so... But meanwhile, it's it's nice here, it's peaceful. So obviously, like I said, I want to bunker. The only issue is... I don't really think of doing that beforehand. Um, I've got a double door frame, and obviously... I'm going to need two half walls for a bunker to work. So... Let me see. Can I go out of another square? I can. Okay, this might solve the problem. I can... I can. Okay, that's cool. Can I honeycomb on this side? Maybe I'll simply just do this. Yeah, okay. Definitely works. I'm gonna honeycomb the back side quickly. Wow, that really isn't possible. Oh, we have a problem. We definitely have a problem. Am I- is it really because of train yard? Wow, that is surprising. Not being able to build off the back of the base where my TC lives, I would even need to find a new place for my tool cupboard or armor those walls. We were still only a couple of hours into wipe, so right now, that wasn't my main concern. It could be something we attend to down the road. Yeah, that's uh, interesting now. I don't really know how to feel about that. Well, well, do this first of all. So we have a bunker, that's good. How are we gonna do? Huh. Now I regret making a wool frame. I wish I had just done a half wool, because now I want to half wool it off and use it as honeycomb. Place a tier one there, that's a nice spot. Someone outside. Right now, I want to get a tier two. We're actually kind of close. 360 scrap. But right now, I am definitely going to go outside naked, just because I heard someone. Yep. <laughs> there it is. Retro booming. Okay. Nice to meet you, sir. As of right now, I haven't really kept track of any names, so I don't know if I've killed him, but he knows where I live now. All right. Still needing a little bit more scrap for a tier 2 workbench, I headed towards supermarket. Still no green card. 
Ooh, mixing table. Nice, 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 nice. Oh, eight scrap. Eight scrap, okay. Chainsaw. Oh, that is a mega find. Very nice. What garage door skin do we want to go with today? I like this one. This one's nice. Awesome. How much is each of these? A hundred. Yeah. I can worry about that when I log off actually, there's no rush. Yeah, silence AK. Oh. There's the AK. Need to stand still. Oh, he's dead. So there's a four man here, one of them's DC'd, maybe five, because that guy's coming back, I assume he's with them. I guess I might just do my thing. <laughs> oh, satchel, that's nice. That is a full AK kit. White out. You see that? Oh, no thanks. Ah, well, let me go see if I'm being camped. Oh, his teammate was there as well. I'm the dishwasher. Okay. I didn't know these guys' intentions, but I knew they were from the same team. Assuming they were also part of the AK players group, I took no chances upgrading my quarter metal. Do the bunker to sheet metal as well. Like I've been saying, I want to have a door here. I want the entrance to be on that side. We could probably do two doors, maybe. First of all, first order of business is to do this. I kind of actually want to go to supermarket and try and get that guy. Looks like he's farming it up. That's the guy who just killed me with the saw. Uh, okay. I guess they live down there, I think. Okay, I'm going to honeycomb these foundations because they are the bunker foundations. That one's obviously covered by the rock, so that's good. Yeah, it could be cool. Why not? I can't expand outside, well, this side at all. Oh, man, I really can't believe that. Maybe I want to do something here as well. I don't know. We're going to worry about it in the morning. Okay, let's put our thinking caps on. So, like I said, jump up, I reckon. I like this spot. 
We're just gonna have to wall this, I feel like. This is fine. And then I do want to do something here. I don't really know what. I think I should probably honeycomb this, in fact. Just so that's out of the way. And we're going to have two ways up onto the roof. Yeah. So we're going to have that way up. So up this way. And we can have a little bedroom here maybe, I'm not really sure. We can do that. Garage door this, yeah maybe we can have a bedroom, that'd be cool. I think actually I've completely changed my mind. I think I want it to be symmetrical. On both. Oh, wait. It can't be. Okay, no, I, I, it still works. I think I want to do this. Not symmetrical, but like, um... Similar. Yet again, someone's jumping outside. Oh my god. Not cool. Okay, so on this run, I think I'm hoping for like tech trash. Just so I can make electric furnaces, solar panels, batteries. All that stuff. Oh, mate. Oh, I threw. Why is he hiding like that though? I had a hunch that I could do something here. Almost killing an AK with a crossy revolver combo gave me confidence, and I had suspicion I knew where they lived, so I headed over with a SAR. Yeah, look, there he is. Oh, of course. He saw me as well, didn't he? He took my... Oh, no. I need to fight this one in power plant if I'm gonna fight. Uh, sorry, train yard, what am I on about? They waited for all their boys to get back. No. You can't do me like this. I'm one guy. Just push me, please. I might have to dip out of this fight. Uh, it's not from above me, is it? Where is that from? Unfortunately, my time wasn't now, but I knew it would come eventually. I would just have to be patient and play my cards right. I heard quite a few shots at train yard as a lock crate had dropped, so I headed over with my only tier 2 gun to investigate. Yes, he's here. The AK's here. Maybe he depots this set. I think he does.
Dude, this guy's really, really good, by the way. Like, really good. In that window. Like, silly good. I really want to upgrade to a shooting floor now. Or like, not even a shooting floor, just some window floors for some defendability. Retro booming, yeah, that's him. This was bad. I had no means of defense and these guys know exactly where I live. And of course, they wouldn't let this slide. Add a garage door here. We need the sheet metal, all of this ASAP. We need electric furnaces, basically. I did some base work for around 20 minutes, making sure I knew where everything was. Thinking this would have been enough time to deter any door campers, I headed out. Right, okay. Let's put that in there, check if we're getting camped, and then, uh... Go get some wood. Yep, I knew it. <laughs> He's been sat there for a good 25, 20 minutes, by the way. While I was sorting out base. I figured wrong. I knew what sort of player I was up against here. And being in this situation a million times before. I knew this would end one way and one way only. Looked like I wasn't getting much sleep tonight. Wanting electric furnaces to smelt a bunch of metal. I would need solar panels and a battery. I would also need tech trash to craft these items. So I headed to train yard with a lower tier kit to do some simple monument farming. Oh, the gears are a huge help. Nice. I'm not really getting lucky with tech trash here. Yes, huge. Ooh, very cool. But can they clip through? Oh, they kind of can actually. Oh, we'll play some hair. Yeah, that'd be cool. And now we just need to hook up the solar panels. As you can imagine, I now got camped for a good 15 minutes, and as soon as he left, I added an extra floor to my base to hopefully prevent this from happening again. I, th I think this guy isn't the kind of guy to give up. He door camped me with a DB for like 25 minutes when I was sorting out my base. I actually could be in a predicament here. I'm going to have the entrance on this side. And I'm going to have a window here. Yeah, I'm feeling much more secure now. I've just thought of quite a cool way actually of uh quite a cool way of doing the entrance. It all depends if we can place this. Which we can. Cool. To be honest, I think I will just seal that off. I just like the idea of this. I don't know why. People can't get in. Oh uh, they might be able to there. 
It also gives me a peek out. Yeah, they can, but I thought that with a siren light or something when I need to. Locked crate was out at train yard. Heading over, I expected to be met with multiple groups, but what I would stumble across, I would have never expected. Was he alone? I don't know. Considering bro had M2, I don't think so. Oh my god, what? 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 Day one of wipe and I have an M249. Are you is this like some sort of joke or why was he alone? Why was he alone? Did he make a play? Having this M2 was huge, however, I was gonna leave it in my base until I desperately needed it, and it would definitely come in handy later on. For now, I headed back to see if I could catch the end of the lock crate. Teammates up on the top, look. And his other teammates to my left, I just saw him. Laser. Uh, okay. That guy's just not peeking me anymore. I I don't know. I'm just gonna leave. I think I'm gonna leave. Fair play. Fair play to him. He's yeah. I've just been outplayed hard. Oh, they're all the way up there. Nope, oh, here they are. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. I need to go. Nice. I 
think that's protected by rock, right? Mm, no, nah, not really. Okay. Sorry, bro. <laughs> it's okay, Can man. Can you revive me? Just loot me, please. Thank you. <laughs> oh, okay. Thank you. <laughs> and also, I don't know how I haven't realized I can actually do this, maybe? Yeah. I don't know why I haven't done that. Anyway. You know what? I think I'm gonna go up one more and then we're gonna do shooting floor Actually, we'll do that. Hey, do we even go up one more? I feel like this is way too low for a shooting floor. Yeah, it's hundred percent. Let me go one. No, it, it it's tall enough, but this side is definitely not. Yeah, I'm going up one more. <laughs> I'm gonna do it. We're going up one more. Hmm. Yep, he's coming this way. Should be an easy kill. Shouldn't mess it up. I hope I don't. Easy peasy. Yeah, it was just one, I'm pretty sure. The way the python like comes out, oh my god, the way you equip it is so satisfying. You could do this all day. Oh. I wanted to complete the majority of my base on the first day. This meant on day two, I could focus on the gatehouses, externals and compounds, and making it look as best as I could. So the next step now was to think of a shooting floor design. Okay. Time to think. How do we want this to look? Oh yeah, we can't let- hmm. Okay. This is going to have to do. In fact, is there any point in having a... I don't think there's any point in having a triangle there. Okay, this looks fine to me. This was a very simple shooting floor, but with stability issues and build radius problems, it was kind of the best I could do. As long as I had some form of peaks, I didn't really mind how it looked. I don't get stability here. Hmm. Okay, scratch that. 
Let's just do this. I was happy with how my base looked so far, but for some more offline raid protection, I opted to place an external tool cupboard. It would be tricky because of the terrain around my base, but I'm sure I can make it work. I don't know how this is going to work, but I do want to get some sort of external DC down. It's going to have to go out this way. I don't even know if I can... Yeah, I don't think this is going to work very well. And this is quite a strange way of doing it, but I could just start it like this. It still works the same as an external TC. It's just not like the proper way of doing it, I suppose. I think it's the only way I can do it. Yeah, I mean, it's a, it's a pretty scuffed way of doing it, but the terrain is very challenging here. I think this is the best I'll get. We could turn it into a gatehouse tomorrow as well when we decide to do a compound. But yeah, that's a job for tomorrow. It is almost 3am. Yeah, I don't really want to be farming wood at 3am. I need to replace these too. Doing some final upgrades, I decided to call it there for day one, leaving my PC running in case of a potential raid defence. Okay. Uh, it looks like we survived. Unsealing my bunker, I then began my day with a simple farming trip. 
I don't know if I should be surprised or not, the fact that I'm not raided. I'm grateful, because it means we can continue this adventure, but I feel like I deserved to get raided. <laughs> of course that one AK guy did, but I think they rage quit the wipe. The guy that was camping me for forever, I think they rage quit. I had suspicions that my enemies from day one had quit the wipe as their base had decayed. I couldn't have been more wrong, as I'd find out later. Burst on this gun is so crazy, dude. <laughs> it's actually so good. What is that? Two by one with an armored door. Or is that two by two? Two by two with an... It's interesting. Um... Damn. With the farm I'd just gotten, I decided to do my other external TC, later acting as a second gatehouse to my compound. Gonna have to go along this path here. Yeah, I think that's the only way it can... It can work. Okay, we've got a couple externals down, which is very nice. Whilst I was at it, I also tried to complete the gatehouse and the compound. Oh my fucking god! I just jumped out of my skin. Question is... Where do we start this compound? On the gatehouses, both of them, I feel like. Yep, it's gonna have to be like that. Okay, well that's not too bad so far. We do need more walls, of course. I'd say three here, and then maybe four. Three to four on the other side as well. Fair enough. I don't know how he didn't die, actually. one more this is not really what I wanted to be doing right now After cleaning up the mess, I continued to do my compound, but this time in the cover of night, so it wouldn't attract any unwanted guests. Please, let me place that. 
Oh, yeah, nah. Oh my god, let's go. <laughs> That's sick. Yes. Oh, that has made me well happy. Yeah, I don't know how I could do this side. Um. There we go. Gonna have to play this. Place that one a bit wonky. But it's okay. Very nice. Maybe I'll just do a ring. And do this. I guess maybe we just do that, create like a funnel, so they have to come from here, then I can easily watch it from that peak. I think that's, of course, I think that's the best we could do. I'm actually really happy with this. Wow. So I want to armor this wall. Replace this box. Yeah, I think that's good. A honeycomb to the bunker can also be upgraded. And we are looking very good. Yes. My base was more or less complete. Now I wanted to enjoy myself with some PvP and eventually plot my revenge on my enemies from day one as I'd soon find out a new base I'd discovered earlier was home to this group. Oh my god, I whiffed hard. I think he whiffed even harder though. <laughs> I'm like, where was he? <laughs> M2 is a lifesaver, I guess. Hearing a big raid in the distance, I headed over with an MP5. I would scope out the situation and then decide whether it's worth going back with an AK, because as of right now, I had no idea how many players would be turning up. Yeah, I don't know about this one. There's so many people. There's AKs turning up now. Maybe they'll come down to the raid. I'll sit in the power branch thingy, whatever it's called, electrical branch. See one more, I see someone. He's weak. Someone looted the MP5. I see the other SAR as well. 
There's two of them up there. All dead. Oh no. I'm gonna die, bro. Can't I have no meds. You. I'm gonna die. No. Uh, run to my base. I'll give you meds. I'm not even kidding. I'm yeah, I'm screwed. Numbers always win. I think I got too greedy. There's so many. There is so many. I'm so dead. Yeah, that's a shame. I joined a team with my new neighbours as they also wanted to take down Retro Boomin, my target since day one, but that would be a task for later. Right now, I wanted to head back to that fight, but I got a little distracted on the way. What did he have? So, oh, I thought he had it. There's so many! Heading back as quick as I could, they had already retreated back into their base. I did manage to fight them one more time. There we go, perfect. Oh my god, there's even more than four. There's like six. <laughs> this is so annoying. But I was just heavily outnumbered, so I switched my focus onto doing a couple of raids as I'd been stacking up sulfur throughout the course of the wipe. Hopefully these raids would bless me with some profit as I still had an eviction I was desperate to do. I regret my decision massively. Oh, 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 no, 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 no. 
No, 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 no. I can't even see him. I really can't see him. I assume that's it. <laughs> All I could see was two. Okay. Oh, sixty cloth. I need that. I was out searching for a raid as I was definitely not pleased with my previous one, which is when I had a run-in with a certain group. After killing a wood farmer, these guys now decided to camp my base for ages, going back to their old ways. They didn't like being slayed by a solo, and this made me even more motivated to end their wipe early. Oh, he's, look at him dude, he's crouching up to my base. Look, the AK guy, what a little rat. What a little rat. Look, he's camping me there and the other guy's up on the hill. I think they see me. He sees me anyway, I know that. Luckily after this, I didn't see them online again, so I headed to a new base I had seen to hopefully get some raid redemption before the finale. Oh my god! <laughs> Um, I wasn't expecting this whatsoever. Uh, <laughs> this was a great raid, transferring over all of the loot to my main base. Inspecting their base beforehand, we noticed they had a couple of soft side walls, so we broke through them first before the main event. We didn't care if it was an offline, these guys had given both of us grief the entire wipe, door camping us at every given opportunity. So take this as a bit of karma. After blowing through the ladder hatch with the satchels I had on me, I now headed to my neighbor's base to help craft the boom we would need in order to raid Retro Boomin and his team.
My teammate had 100 hours on Rust, so this was a great experience for him. The only problem was, there were three angry men outside wanting what we were getting. I had to defend. Unfortunately, Corpse had died whilst firing a rocket at a tricky angle. He was struggling to get back in as the trio were eagerly waiting outside. I had two options, finish the raid and try and seal, or fight back. Bearing in mind, if I dropped, I had no ladders to get back out. I have to finish this. It's open, huge. At this point, they were in the compound. I had to act fast. Oh my god, we got it. We got it, we got it, we got it. Fully sealed. ATC. Hello. I'm naked on top of the ladder. Hey, what's up? Hi. Yeah, no. It's came to see what the explosions were. Golly. See if you were getting offline. I wish, I wish I was getting raided, dude. That'd be the perfect ending. <laughs> These guys were fully geared, and I wasn't taking any chances, so I added another door or two. I wanted this raid to now be secured for Corpse, my teammate. This was his first ever big raid, and I was happy to be a part of it. All I had to do now was fight my way out and get Corpse back in, so we could transfer all of the loot to his and his team's base. And that, my friends, was the ending of my solo story. I really hope you enjoyed, as this was a blast to play, indulging in some seriously fun PvP, and creating an awesome base to go along with it. So I call it there for my wipe. Again, I hope you all enjoyed, and I'll see you all next Sunday.